Hi everyone, it's Robin with Crafting with Robin. Today I'm coming to you with a few things that are simple crafts that fought my probably the last fall crafts I'll be doing. Um, so here we go. I am going to move you down so you can see what I'm doing. And I have to apologize ahead of time for the mess I got here. Okay, so we will start out with, I'm going to do this, um, this is a real simple thing. We're going to take this jar, well it's, it's a plastic jar, it's from the Dollar Tree, but I kind of like the fact that it was shaped, it's got the little, kind of like a pumpkin, it's flat on these two ends, but there it's got. And I'm going to take the Dollar Tree acorns glass acorns um, I haven't seen them in a while I got these a while back but I've got some fairy lights here and my fairy lights actually have a remote so I can put the I can put that in the bottom cover it up put a few more lights in there try to get them spread out a little so they show through all the, I probably should have put a little bit more in the bottom, but it's going to take two of these at least. Put some more in there. Let's see. Shake it up a little so we can get them down there. I kind of got my fairy lights all scrunched in one area. But I can always work at that later and fix them up a little. So in the interest of time, I'm not going to spend a ton of time redoing that part. But then I've got, let's see, I've got the stem here and I'm going to just take some raffia. It's actually the stuff from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to take and on the top, glue a little bit of that down. And then take and glue. These are the little stems from the Dollar Tree, the branch type things. Then I've got some of the... Um, Ooh, I just got that in my white paint, which is for another project. Okay, take that off. Luckily, I got a baby wipe here so I can wipe that off my fingers. I've got a few different projects started here on my table, if you can't tell. Hoping to get a few of them done in this video, but I don't want to make the video too long. So I'm going to take some of this. Should have had my wire cutters out for that. And then wrap that around here. Actually, my glue from the raffia was still a little bit wet. Are still a little bit hot. So it didn't take much to hold it down. Then I'll just play with it a little, curl it up a little. So those little ends aren't poking out. Oh, and I should have done this part first. But what I'm going to do is take piece of ribbon and this is from the Dollar Tree also it's got leaves on it and glue that around the edge here just to clean the edge up a little bit so it doesn't take much glue just a little dot in the back wrap it around and then Another little dot to finish it off. Trim it. I'm 
and let's see if we can curl these a little better find something to do it with should have had them a little bit longer but then I think they would have been too much on here anyways there we go with that and now I gotta find my remote for it they do this I got this um, these fairy lights from I could have had some more actually I might actually do that put a few more of the glass pumpkins in there seeing you can still lift it off I'm gonna glue that ribbon down a little better add a few more of the acorns I should say I don't think I have acorns left but I got some of these pumpkins which are the same little glass plastic I'm pretty sure they're plastic they're not glass might be all that fits so like I said I'm trying to make this a faster video so there we go and these lights I got them off of Amazon like I said and they have a different mode so you can do it kind of a little bit twinkling where they fade in and out I believe or maybe they're just a steady glow I hope you can see that good enough on there to turn my lighting down a little. Oh, that's not helping. I think I just got too much. <laughs> Anyways, they're lit up. And I will turn them off. Oops. But I think it came with like 12 or 14 fairy lights and two remotes off of Amazon. And if I play around a little bit, I can get that remote a little better hidden and the lights to get a little bit more distributive so they're not. But like I said, I'm kind of rushing my videos today because you get the concept of what to do. So that's not too hard. My next project stuff out of the way was another simple thing I found I found this thing at Target dollar spot for for five dollars at Target dollar spot I, I took the actually it was wrapped up so and then I took a bead and I had these shower curtain hooks from a curtain I ordered off Amazon. So I took that, the bead from that, a bead, and then this one of the shower, cook, hook, shower curtain hooks, which is plastic, and glued them together in there. And then I painted it black so I could have a handle on my stand here move it up just a hair so you can see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna put a little I'm gonna try to just do a tiny little I mean, it's got to be enough to hold it but hold it down did I miss a spot painting yes I did Try to get that spot and I just painted that with the Waverly matte black ink I guess it's called so I'm gonna take that and fix up that little spot that I missed painting I'm 
my little water thing here is kind of a kind of a mess full of paint I've had it for probably over 30 years I've used it a lot so this thing it's got my water for cleaning my brushes anyway so I've got that there was something else I was gonna do with this anyway so then you've got your base and my thought was leave this like this not do anything permanent but like maybe for fall, I can add some raffia to it. Just do this. Add a few pieces of raffia to it. Or ribbon. You could do Christmas ribbon. Um, as long as it's nothing permanent. If I can get this tied, I don't think I cut it long enough. And then you can use it year round. It can sit on your counter with some little treats on it. I'll put some little treats. I bought these little um, donuts at Walmart. If I can get them open. There. Put some little treats on your little stand. And there you have it. Don't want to do too much to this because you do want it to be food safe. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. Whoops. I got a new camera, so I'm kind of having a hard time figuring it out. Or it's actually a webcam for my so I'm kind of videotaping with my phone and my webcam, just in case one doesn't work out. I still have the other, but this is something cute. You could have sitting on your counter at all times. The other thing you could do with this is if you had uh, something special you wanted to display in it, like I did think I should get another one. I have the Princess Diana Beanie Baby that maybe I could put that in here and use that this as a display for it. And that would be a cute idea. I mean, you could put like some um, decals or something on the outside of this or some ribbon down here, which I thought of doing, but I kind of wanted to keep it simple. But I did want to have a top because to do this, to lift the lid every time was kind of a pain. So this works perfect and I think I saw somebody else doing something on this order using the Dollar Tree curtain rings but yeah like I said I got these with my curtain bath bath or shower curtain I ordered and decided I didn't like them for that so I've got them for DIYs and it worked out perfect for this because I really did sit here for a long time trying to figure out what I was going to use for my little top on that to lift it up and down. So those were two, two real simple ideas. I have um, the other one I was doing is, oops, I had it glued. I guess I didn't wait long enough for it to stick but let's see let's take some of this off maybe the hot glue is just not going to work for this I do have some E6000 but just in the interest of time I'll do this now and then I'll redo it with some E6000 later but I actually think shoot I shouldn't have done that I was thinking about painting the bottom black, which I think I am going to do. Paint the bottom of this black. Should have done it before I re-glued it. I'm just going to use some ink chalk paint. I should have had, oh, that was a lot of paint. I just didn't. Don't want to waste it.
kind of like I did my white there. I kind of wasted it because I switched projects when I did that. So I'm going to try to paint this without knocking it apart. And it looks like it's going to take two coats. So I will not make you watch me paint all of this. You will get the idea and I will show a picture at the end of my video to show you what it looks like. When I'm done painting this, I'm going to think I'm going to either do some fairy lights in it or candy. Could be for either. But you can you get the idea of what I'm doing. And I plan on editing in a picture when I'm all done. Actually, this chalk paint is covering pretty good. Maybe it'll only take one coat. Surprisingly. You know, I'm fairly new to chalk paint, actually. I've always used acrylics when I paint. And since I started watching the YouTube videos and I see how well the chalk, coat, chalk paint coats things, well, I'm leaving the mistakes and everything in. I'm going to have to re-glue this. Actually, I will finish painting before I re-glue it. Looks like one coat's going to be enough, though. And you know what? Maybe I'm using the wrong glue sticks. I have a mat here that I got off Amazon. I don't remember what I paid for it. I ordered it quite a while ago. But it does clean up really nice. But let's turn this around. Here's those fairy lights again. Kind of wish for um, Halloween. I would have done kind of the, had the yellow lights maybe. And there is a switch you can turn them on with this too. And just click, keep clicking it to get the desired effect. I'm gonna stick that down in the bottom. Oops, <laughs> now I gotta try to turn it around so you can see it. And let me see, try to come up with some kind of idea. I gotta wipe out. I'm gonna show you how this mat does clean up. I think I need more than a baby wipe though right now because I kind of have a big mess on here. But you could put something in here to, maybe some of these, these would actually might. I think that's all I have though. So that's it. That's this project. I'm not going to pick it up by the top. And I am going to turn it off with the remote. So there's that project, another simple thing to do. Now the next one is a little bit more to it. I've got all, I painted all these pumpkins, I painted a witch hat. I painted a ghost so the, they're all done with the well this is the home decor um, folk art home decor chalk paint in what's the color sheepskin I painted the ghost that the witch's hat is the ink the Waverly ink and the pumpkin is the Waverly chalk paint and then for the I used the Waverly Truffle to do the um, shading on it, which 
going to do that now. Oops. Almost knocked over this dirty water that from my paint. And these cutouts are from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to try to show you a little bit how to do some shading on this. Just kind of what you do is kind of have your brush a little bit damp. Dip it in the dip the tip of it into the paint. And then I was taught to do like a seven on your paper. And then you kind of get. Oh, I'm not doing this very good because I'm used to doing it up close. And then just kind of go down. I need a little bit more. Oops, you're not able to see that very good. So it gives it a little bit of the shape, the um, where the little grooves are in the pumpkin. And the stem also was painted with the truffle. I have a paper towel over there that I'm kind of wiping my brushes on. Let's get this out of the way. So with the... Let's see, what did I use? I used the orange. With the witch's hat... I took a little bit of, I painted that the ink, took a little bit of orange on one of these flat brushes, just go across. I don't think I had enough on my brush. Try not to dump out a bunch, so I'm just dipping it into the It doesn't have to be a perfect coverage. It's, there you go. And then the ghost. I'm just going to take a marker here and write. Can you see that? Boo on it. Okay, now I'm going to take some, I have a couple, I have a, I have a few of these ready. Actually, I did forget to do something. I'm going to take the little ties from the, out of the packages. I'm confusing myself because I've got so many projects here that I'm going to do with these and I've kind of confused myself by forgetting what I'm doing with a couple of them. But let's see. Because I want these to hang straight, I'm going to put, I did not finish the backs of them because they're not going to show if I was going to give this project away to somebody I would probably do the backs of them Let's see there we go so I put the part with the hole in through there and then like that and they should hang flat like that so I'm going to do that to one of each of them. Oh, I forgot, did forget, but I'm letting this paint dry because after I'm done with, when that's dry, I'm going to take my little marker. Where did I put my marker? Gold marker and draw a little buckle on the hat, on the witch's hat. So I will take and 
two of these. I should have done some of these ahead of time. I can probably edit some of this out. Where'd I put these? <laughs> I can't tell that one out kind of was messing around a little bit more. I was being a little bit more picky about getting the insides, the little inside there than I did on the others, which you can't even tell that I didn't, that I wasn't super picky about that. Okay, where did I put the others? So I'm doing a, like I said, I'm doing a few different things with these. And they're, they're all simple things. Try not to do anything too hard because um, until I learn how to get a little bit better at the editing of the videos, I have another witch's hat somewhere. There it is. Oh, I didn't do the buckle on this one. Okay, so I guess I'll be using this one. And, or I didn't do that. It's not completely dry, so but it's still gonna work. It'll still work. I did think I still had another witch's hat somewhere. There it is, I found it. I tried to have some stuff done ahead of time so you wouldn't have to watch me doing all the painting. But you end up watching me doing all this. Got a different one. Okay, I am almost done. I think I just got this one and a ghost left. fraying a little bit and the ghost I ended up painting the whole shut on this one still can't get it in there Oh, here I got another one. Sorry if you're not able to see everything I'm doing. Okay. So now I've got three different things I'm doing with this. One of them, I've got this plaque here, and I got this at the Dollar General for a dollar. And I'm going to see what will fit. Fit. Thinking I can only do a couple things hanging from this. Well, if I did it at different lengths, I could probably get all three of them. Let's try that. Just doing some hot glue on the bottom or the back. And I put that witch hat. I I got the witch's hat, the ghost. Should have my little spatula thing out. 
Where did I put it? This I got off Amazon too. It was a three pack. And now they have them in the makeup section of the Dollar Tree. So if anybody's looking for these things, they work pretty good. Anyways, so there you have it. This would hang up. And let's see. I mean, if you had it against the wall, <laughs> the shapes are going to stay where they're supposed to. There. I like that. I think it looks pretty good. Oops, I got to do my phone. There. Like I said, I'm videotaping on two different, just in case one doesn't work out. This has already been a 31 minute video. It's longer than I usually do. But that, I mean, and I could put a, a bow up here. I could put, shoot, should I gotta hold that? I could put beads between the, on the string, which I did think about doing, but I'm kind of happy with the way it is. I'll hang it up. Somebody will like it. Maybe my daughter will want it. Um, my next thing is I took, this is from Dollar General also. It's just one of the little things you can buy. It's got, I, I'm using the inside of it. This was a dollar. I'm using the inside of it. And I just taped the light thing on the back of it because this side has the button to turn it on and off. Gotta use my remote and turn it off. Eventually you do get it off, but the other side of it has the opening for the batteries. So I didn't want to cover up either one of them. So I just used scotch tape and taped it there. And it seems to be holding. I test, tested that. And then I just stuck the, the, dot, the fairy lights inside of it. And then I'm going to take some of this. And I think I'm just going to tape this also. Just because, I gotta cut it a little better. I'm double layering it and let's see. And I double, well, I double layered, layered it, but I don't want, I wanna be able to get in there if I ever need to. And this is just tissue paper. So if I ever need to, you know, redo this or take it apart, it's simple. All it is is cheap tissue paper. Got it at, I think, Walmart for 97 cents. Just go get more. Or, you know, I, of course, I have a lot left. But I can redo it then. So I'm just going to tape this to make it simple because if I hot glued it it would um, I don't know how that would work with tissue paper actually hot gluing and this scotch tape you can't see it I don't know if you if I'm making any, if I'm not making any sense let me know I'll try to practice some of these videos more I kind of I don't do any ex I don't do any practice ahead of time don't give myself notes I just kind of wing it I, I mean I decide what I'm gonna do but <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm doing until I start <laughs> and I hope that doesn't look too bad but then I'm gonna take one of these Oh, you know what I did forget to do on that. But anyways, I'm going to take one of these. I should have done a better job with my... It's hard when I got too much stuff in my way. But I should have done a better job with my tissue paper and getting it lined up a little better. But here I'm going to... I'll just do a little dot of hot glue. Hot glue there. Uh, 
And I'm going to take the jute and make a little bow with it to cover up that little hole. I'm just doing a, I guess you call it a shoelace bow. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do that very good. It's kind of hard with it. I'm going to grab some more. I have some here. Grab some thicker stuff and do a double one. Okay. So here we have it. I guess I keep forgetting I'm trying to do this on two different sources. So I look at one. There's my little shoelace bow. I'm going to use it to cover up the hole there. I think I need to use a little bit more hot glue to hold this down. You kind of get the concept. I probably, what I should have done that might have worked better is if I would have just covered the maybe the back of the pumpkin in the tissue paper because it's kind of got pushed in there so now it's kind of or maybe I can just push it all in but I was kind of hoping to cover up this wire here from the lights and everything which didn't work out very good but I'll turn it on we'll see This would be cute in a little tiered tray. And it's kind of nice that you got the remote. See, now watch when I turn this on. I believe it should turn all of them on. There. So if you had a nice display sitting out, you just hit the button once and you got them all on. That's cute. So those are my three fairy light decorations. And I have one more thing that I'm doing. And I forgot to measure. So I'm just going to wing it. Hope I don't make any mistakes. Actually, if I go a little longer, I'm probably better off. Because I can always make it shorter. It's kind of hard to make it longer. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit longer with this side, too. And then I'm going to take... Okay, I've got this thing that I painted quite a while ago. I was going to um, I take this off. This is actually kind of rusted from I have I've had this hanging outside. I painted this in actually I'm gonna see what these are layer cutters. I painted this in like '97, I think. So it's had a lot of years of hanging outside and inside get that out so you know what I should have done might do it with this side Let's see if I can somehow pull the ribbon or the twine through there when I pull this out I don't think that's gonna work well no nope. the hole's too little so Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the twine in there. I might end up having to glue it. So I'm going to glue that there. And then I've got a totally different string I'm going to glue to the other side. I'm doing a little knot so it's got something to grab onto. 
and I'm putting it over the hole over there so because I don't want this to come apart and these boards here this is something I used to paint on a lot they're called um, barrel staves they have a really rough back to them and on the front is smooth after you sand it they take a little bit of sanding I think I'm going to need some more glue on here. Here, I'm going to get some of my garbage out of the way. A little bit more glue on there. We are going to take our little things we painted and tie them on here. I'm not going to tie them super tight so I can still move them. I don't think I'm going to put a ghost on here. Or do you think I should? And I think I'm going to actually tie these into ribbons. Yeah, we'll tie them in knots. And then I'll maybe put little bows on there. I'm trying to think of what I had planned. I think I did plan on putting a ghost on here too. Then it's going to hang in front of my mantle across, across it. And I will post a picture at the end of it. Let's see. Can you, oops, got it all tangled here. Can you kind of see how I'm doing this? I'm just going to go on my mantle and I'm going to do the other side the same way. What did I do first? How come I don't have a witch's hat done? Oh, here it is. No, that's not it. Should have had another witch. <laughs> it's right here in front of me. It's easier for me to do this on my lap. I I need to um, organize things so I have more room. So I apologize for get a couple more of the I can't find anything. I guess I'll open up these and take them out of here. I was gonna do the cats too. Which would have been fun, but I didn't get around to that one. Sorry, this is going slow. Thought I had enough of these done. I could have swore I had enough of these done. And a ghost. We'll write blue on this one. Hopefully you guys stuck with me so you could see how I'm doing this. If you did, put a, um, let's see comment below with a 
pumpkin emoji if you're still here. So we've been doing a lot of pumpkin pumpkin crafts today. I'm also going to show you my tiered tray that I have over here. Okay, so here we go. And then so I'm totally unprepared again. I should have done this ahead of time. Should have done some of this tying ahead of time and everything. I'm going to cut some of these. And tie these on there too. Just in between each of these. Once I get these on my mantle, I'll take a picture and post it at the end of the video. But I think you're kind of getting the idea of what I'm doing here. Whoops, <laughs> I got this upside down there. So it's going to go like this. And then I have some little hooks on the end of my mantle. I'll just tie this to and trim, trim all the things that are hanging off. And that'll be it. I might do a little bit more embellishing, maybe some more ribbon. Well, I'm going to do ribbon between each one of these, but... Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll tie a couple little bows and put them on the ends here. That's probably what I will do to cover the little holes that I have there. But this, like I said, this is something I painted a long time ago. Um, as I've had it for so many years that to me it's gotten kind of a old thing and boring. So by adding some of this stuff to it and hanging it in front of my mantle, I think I can make it a new something nude again to look at something a little more interesting for me um i've got this to hang up somewhere oops got it backwards and a few lighted projects so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and that was all i had for today i thought i had well, we did the thing with the treats in it. Yeah, I think that is it. I do have some extra pumpkins I can do stuff with. Maybe if, if this doesn't go completely across my mantle, I'll hang another pumpkin on there. Extra ghost. But it never hurts to have these things around for quick projects. I did a bunch of them ahead of time, so I was prepared. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And you, you, this video on my phone, yeah, you can see a big mess. You can see that I have some of my clothes hanging on the door there to my craft room. Um, you can see too much of a mess, probably. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. Make a play. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment below um, if you watch the whole thing let me know somehow because I, I just always wonder if I'm too boring if I I mean I just need to take a class or something on editing so you don't need to watch some of this so I can do you know a little bit more editing cutting some of the boring parts out the mistakes I made although I don't think I don't think it's a bad thing to let people see mistakes. I probably, when I lift this up, it'll come apart again. Oh, it didn't that time. And it does look like I do need a second coat of the black on there. I can see through it. But I enjoy doing it. This was a fun project to do. I hope you will try doing some of these. Just do what I do. Wing it. You know, you have two things you want to put together. You bought them at the Dollar Tree or wherever. And start gluing or cutting or doing whatever but it's kind of fun okay thanks for watching bye